Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your forecast horoscope for your bi-weeklies for October 1st to the 14th. And thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. So what we're gonna be looking at today, and by the way, if you want to personally read me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerisa.com, or check out the description box below. And I have a brand new channel, it's called GWZ Mystery. So if you're a fan of unsolved true crime stories, or paranormal mysteries. You may want to check out my second channel. What I do is I look at the mysteries, I look at the facts of the case, and then I ask questions from the Tyrell and Lenormand and Kipper, and I find out, okay, what's the truth around this situation? So if you guys are interested, the information is in the description box below, and it's called JWZ Mysteries. So today, what I'm going to go into, Sagittarius, I'm going to take a different approach for your bi-weeklies. I'm going to examine your astrology first. Okay, and then we're going to go into your romantic love life with the cards. Okay, but I'm going to use cards also for the astrology. So there's not going to be any software, so you don't have to worry about Western or Vedic or any kinds of things like that. If you found this video, this video is meant for you. Use the same signs you've always been using. Okay, so and your sun and moon rising sign represents all three aspects of yourself. So feel free to cross watch for more information. Okay, so let's take a look at your astrology. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So it looks like you're being influenced by Scorpio, Venus, Aries, and Mercury. And the first thing that I felt when I laid down the cards, to be honest with you, Sagittarius, was this was going to be something around passion. And I know we're not even in the romantic uh, situation or the romantic reading as of yet, but man, that's exactly what I felt like. And then I laid these cards down and I knew it. I was like, whoa, okay. So yes, and <laughs> very interesting because wow, the manipulation card came up too. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. So you can see the direction we're gonna go into with this, don't you? So what is Scorpio? That's the eighth house. What does that deal with? Occult magic. It deals with um, passion or sexuality. It deals with uh, death, dying, transformation. Think about the tower and the death card put together, okay? So big changes, uh, sudden changes, big transformations. That's the, that's the eighth house kind of energy, but also it's a, a very much a house of passion and going deep, diving deep, okay? And then we got it next to the Venus card, mm-hmm, okay. And Aries, which is the planet of passion, okay, Mars, okay. Then you got Mercury, which talks about communication. Third house talks about friendship, writing, communication, bravery, right? Okay, so you got that going on, okay? So going to the first card was you guys for this next couple weeks are gonna encounter a very unusual situation. Uh, it's a very eccentric situation and it's going to be very rather flirtatious there, okay? to the extreme, which, yeah, there you go, Scorpio energy to the extreme. Um, and, um, and also Scorpios deal with obsessions. So this person could really be very obsessed, uh, very tempted by you, even try to manipulate things uh, in their for their way, okay? So to fulfill their desires there, we see the fulfillment card, right? And we see that there is um, a healing energy coming in for you guys, okay? But also there is a situation which you may feel is a little bit outside of your comfort zone. I mean, I see that unusual situation. And we, we do know that the eclipse is coming up, right? So you got the partial solar eclipse, depending on which, which astrology you go by, Vedic or Western, you got Libra and you got uh, Scorpio energy in this solar eclipse. It's almost kind of like a power struggle going on here. And it seems like communication is really gonna be part of this big thing for you because we see the Mercury card energy. So you're getting this huge change, a shocking surprise, and you're having a situation where something very unusual is gonna happen. Someone's gonna be a little bit different from your usual type and expectations. And you are gonna feel like, man, this person's a little bit much for me, okay? Um, but they really want you really badly. And uh, it's almost like they wanna acquire you, okay? And uh, you're gonna to have to make a decision about this because they are trying to manipulate the situation. And also there is a lot of people who are appreciating you because you know there's other things besides that going on here. There's a sense of appreciation. So you're definitely gonna get acknowledgement for that. Um, and also you definitely have fortune in your favor here. And I just wanna clarify exactly what that change is about. Okay, so 
a personal issue will be resolved uh, and it's something to do with the past something you've dealt with from the past that's the k2 energy and we see that it'll give you some time to really think about things okay and you are about to end a tough cycle too okay um, because some, something to do with the communication with somebody and some tough, tough cycle around that. And also, you guys are going to have a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion here. And knowing that things are going to your favor, this is like the Wheel of Fortune card. So the timing is there for you to have this sense of accomplishment and completion. You've really done a lot. People really appreciate you. Um, this also can be business too, fulfillment of something to do with business. I can see this from the business, the business, <laughs> the business perspective. Okay. All right. So you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. Uh, there's a healing energy coming in, a big, powerful change. Communication will be the, the key here, and you're going to end a tough cycle. Capricorn does represent work. And we see that there's an unusual situation coming up. Um, and uh, someone who is definitely trying to get you to uh, maybe if some of you guys are dealing with investors or uh, trying to get investors or there's a project you're working on, someone's trying to say, hey, look at this. I really want you to check this out. Uh, and they're kind of shoving it down your throat. Come on, check this out. I know you would really be good on this team. You know, they're trying to do everything they can to woo you to come to it. So they, they feel like there's a lot of money involved with this and they would really appreciate your help here. And they feel like if you really got involved with this project, you know, there could be a strong accomplishment around it. And they're trying to manipulate this so you can make this decision, okay? I can see that also from the business perspective as well for some of you guys. All right, so Sagittarius, let's move this out of the way. And let's look at your romantic love life now. Okay. So what's going to have my Sagittarius's romantic love life for October 1st to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So let's see what we start out with here. Wow, you guys start out with the sun card. The best card in the deck you start out with your romantic love love. You're about to be very happy with the sun card energy. Oh my God, then it's next to the, and a fire sign's coming out. Mm -hmm. Aries, Sagittarius, Lee Wendry, we saw Aries there. Okay, like a fire sign energy there. All right, so let's keep going. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's the big change. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. I'm gonna tell you why I said, oh my God, in a minute, okay? All right, so your influence is you're going to have to make some kind of decision or there's some going back and forth, what's gonna be the best decision for me? I gotta make a big, big decision here. Um, the the blockage here seems to be not knowing what to do, feeling like there's something hidden about the situation, having a sense of confusion here with the moon card energy. Your advice is, yes, you've got to complete this. You've got to accomplish this situation. Something to do with travel, foreign, or uh, something's about to come full circle. And a choice has to be made to a pentacles energy because that's the influence. The bottom of the deck, yep, there you go. I don't know what to do here. I'm so confused about what to do. Sagittarius, you fulfill my desires. You're everything that I want. There's some good news coming in. Oh my God, look at that. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Two offers. Two offers coming in, guys. Two offers. Two offers. Two offers coming in. Now I see two pentacles influence. You're confused, what do I do? There's a, there's a dog there, or a wolf, but the dog symbolism is like the wolf, it's a wild wolf, a wild dog. And it's like, I don't want to go around in circles. Am I deluding myself? I'm confusing myself. You know, I don't know what to do. And dogs represent loyalty, friendliness. So there's a happy energy coming in for you guys and a powerful change with the tower card energy. You have somebody that you have very strong chemistry with, but there is concerns with this situation do I stand up and fight for this? Do I walk away? I'm a little bit defeated and I'm overanalyzing the situation with the Knight of Pentacles energy. What do I do? I'm a little bit shocked by everything. I can't believe that this has come through and you know what? I really do have strong chemistry. Now I'm trapped because I've entangled myself in a situation. Okay, so let's get a little bit more information here. 
What's going to my Sagittarius is uh, so love life October 1st to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Don't worry, we're going to get to this part right here. This part's really interesting. A power move is being made because somebody feels trapped or isolated or separated. You receive something of benefit, value, turn of events happen, like a positive turn of events happen because of a relationship. Oh, there's that card again. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna get to that in a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I really wanna give to this. I need to make a decision. I need to keep this to myself or I need to end these deceptions. I'm in despair. I'm worried and concerned about this sad news, about this new person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys got a choice. I'm gonna have my Sagittarius's romantic love life for October 1st to 14th. Show guys I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. I even see it here. Look, 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, which is actually a 4 energy, which is leading to stability and stable, which makes sense. And we see the 3 there on top of the marriage card. 3 people. And we see 2 plus 9, 10, 11, a choice. 2 plus 7, 8, 9. Wait, 9, 10. Something needs to be completed because of a choice. So stability and stableness, something needs to be completed and a choice needs to be made around healing, and recovery, and love because there's more than one person, there's a choice. And we see, again, there's good news, there's potential for a long-term commitment. I feel like both people may want to marry you and you're really shocked by this. And you're like, this is really sudden. What am I gonna do? <laughs> you have two marriage offers here. It looks like to me, look at this. How do I know that? This, this relationship, marriage, the marriage cards coming out here, the relationship cards coming out here, all of a sudden, now you're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm entangled in this situation and I gotta lose one of these people because this represents people, this represents loss for a victory. <laughs> oh my God, Sagittarius, you know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? I'm obsessed. I want to apologize. I want an opportunity. Will you say yes? I want an offer is something serious. You are the best decision for me. You're cautious and defensive. I'm trying to be nurturing and supportive. We see this ex-partner and you're at a crossroads because you have this new person and you have the ex or this person you've dealt with before if they're not an ex. It's a person you've known from before and then you have this new person. You're at a crossroads about what to do here. They want you to say yes. There's obsessions going on here. Because you weren't expecting this person to come back. You weren't expecting this person to, to show up. You weren't expecting this, Sagittarius. And now you're kind of like, what the heck do I do? Oh my God, this reading is making me want to jump out of my chair. I cannot believe this. I was not expecting this. You got two marriage offers here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's why this overanalyzer is shocked by this. You gotta make a decision. And that's why the world card is there. It's saying something needs to be completed. Something is gonna be taken to the next level. Okay. We see that there is this nurturing supportive energy. We see, oh my God. We see that intimate time, a meeting taking place, private time together. Okay, going further. Something really does make you happy here, but you're confused about what to do and you have with your advice is saying it's very helpful for a positive outcome. Intimate time, something can be accomplished, completed, taken to a higher level of commitment. Good news. And we see a relationship. Spending time together with this ex. Marriage, a victory, now at a crossroads about what to do. Overanalyzing the situation, confused. Okay, let's get you guys some advice. What should Sagittarius do? When it comes to their love life for the highest best, best possible outcome for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. We got people. Okay, we know that. Something will be brought to light. Bring something to light about the stagnation. Oh, wow, Spirit, really? You're saying bring this to light? Okay. Take a risk. Open things up. Share the truth about who makes you happy. Be pure in your intentions when it comes to loyalty. Speak the truth when it comes to love. Follow your heart. 
Okay, Spirit's saying, go, go for the deep end. Go for the deep end. Just bring it out. Say you don't know, and this is the person I want to be with, this person I love. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy couple weeks. Yeah, two marriage offers. Two marriage offers. Two marriage offers. What? I think this is a pretty rare reading. I don't think I've ever seen a reading like this before. Honestly, I really don't. I don't. I don't think I've seen two marriage offers in one reading. Okay, this is crazy. Okay. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs>